Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today is my England versus Belgium match preview. Um, the reason it's coming a couple of days early is that it is my birthday in a couple of days time. Uh, I think it's on the Wednesday when then this is due to possibly to go out. So I thought give you a little treat as well. Considering England the throw, I'll do it today. Um, so guys you know what to do. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So basically Belgium and England are through to the uh, knockout stages no matter what happens with um, their, uh, their game against us. Uh, the only difference is who's going to finish top and who's going to finish in second. Um, how far do you think England can get? Uh, if you don't mind, put in the comments below. I'm interested to know what you guys actually think. Um, I think it's been quite a good World Cup. I mean, obviously, as you can tell, I've been watching it from home. Um, and I can't believe how many shocks there have been, how many shocks there still could be in this group stage. Uh, stage of this uh, tournament. But anyway, guys, here comes my 1 to 11 for Belgium. So, in goal, I'm going with Jack Button. Bit of change. I don't really want to stick our first team out there. Last thing we really want at this stage is to pick up a really big injury, and he's got to miss the rest of the tournament. So that's why I've gone with Jack Butlin in goal. Uh, left centre back, I've gone with John Stones. Now Stones is possibly one of the only players you're going to see in this team that's possibly played every minute. Yet yeah, again, I don't want to see no one get injured at a game like this. We've got a lot more big games to come up. So I went with Stone in left centre back. Uh, in centre back, I've gone with Gary Cahill. Gary Cahill has not played a minute this season, but I think he deserves a shot. Um, you know, I don't see the point in taking players over there. And not playing them, so that's what I've gone with Gary Cahill in centre back. Um, in right centre back, I have gone with Phil Jones. Uh, yeah, again, I don't think he's played a minute over there. Um, but uh, so I've just put him in there as well, get a bit of game time. As I said, I don't want off real first level to get injured. At just a game like this, we've got a lot more big games coming up, as I just said. So for that one, in right centre back, I've gone with Phil Jones. Uh, in right back, I've gone with my youngest player out there, which is Alexander Arnold. Now I don't see the point of taking young players out there. If right now we've got games to spare, we're definitely through. Why not play? Why not give them the experience? Um, but, as I said, this is my 11. Uh, obviously, I can't do Go Southgate's job. I wish I could, but I can't choose the team. Uh, but anyway, in right back, I have gone with Alex Arnold. In left back, uh, he has played in this competition. But as I think there's only two or three left backs uh, actually trained in the left back position. So with that one, I have gone with Danny Rose. Uh, now Danny Rose has a, had my pick a lot through this competition. I just think he's a little bit ahead of Ashley Young. Um, but uh, so I went in left back. I went with uh, Danny Rose. In right centre mid, I've gone with Eric Dyer. Not played a lot within this competition, but I think he deserves a shot as well. As I said, there's no point taking players out there where you've got a game to spare. Why not play him? Um, 
In centre mid, I've gone with Doof. Um, now, with Doof, he definitely deserves a shot in this competition. Um, as of keepers say, why not? Why take players out there if you're not going to play them? But I'll definitely stick Doof in centre mid. In right centre mid, I've gone with Rubens off the sheet. Now, he has took a Daddy Ali's place, which means unfortunately picked up an injury uh, before the Panama game. This is what I'm saying, I don't want to see our first two players get injured and then no good for the competition further on. Um, so, on the uh, right side, I've gone with Rubens off the street. Now, there's two strikers. Um, now, I think these two should. Well, these part of them should start against Panama. Um, on the left side, I've gone with Marcus Bashford. Um, now, you can obviously make your own mind up on this one, but I think he's had a good competition. I think he had a pretty good warm up game as well. And then on the right side, I have gone with Jamie Vardy. Now, Jamie Vardy, he has gone out there. He ain't got the game time that I was expecting, to be honest. But, why not stick him out there, this Belgium game? This, this one still looks pretty strong, but it don't really risk our first team or go with first team 11. Guys, you know what to do. If you enjoy this video, give it a big crap thumbs up. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching and ciao for now.